Prescott Van Meyer III sommeliering from home. Today, another episode in our Malort Mixology with the highly requested Old Fashioned. We are doing the traditional Old Fashioned recipe that you can find on Bing, if you have any of your three free searches left. It's two ounces of bourbon, half an ounce of simple syrup, three dashes of bitters, some Luxardo cherries, and of course, orange rind, a little bit of squeeze of zest into your drink. While we are not substituting the simple syrup, we're substituting the bourbon to make this a Malort Old Fashioned. So instead of an Old Fashioned, we can call it a mold fashion, moldy fashioned because it's gross. I remember those orange jello shots I took with Malort, tasted very moldy. And it's not really a substitute, is it? But obviously I'm using that term loosely, and more like a coup d'etat. Just really coming in there and just the other guy, installing itself as the dominant force to take over the entire institution. <laughs> uh, you guys think Malort is aggro in its flavor? It just seems a little aggro to me. Really, really leaving no elbow room for anyone else. I can see Malort not giving up its handicapped seat when a pregnant woman comes on the bus. Like a very angry teenager who never had any parental supervision. Gets on Maury Povich, finally the teen ends up in the Scared Straight. <laughs> Although I would think if Malort was ever put into the Scared Straight program, it would actually terrify the convicts. We got a new leader of cell block C. Even prison wine would probably taste better than Malort. Still trying to get my hands on some. Trying to get that hooch. <laughs> Not a euphemism. Do you think Malort was made with a dirty sock in a toilet? Would make sense if it did. All right, got our big blocks of ice for this old fashioned. I have a friend, a sommelier named Louis. He says he harvests the ice. And I don't know what the f that means. This is our stirring ice. That's our drinking ice. All right, let's get the Malort in. Two ounces. Half an ounce, simple syrup, three dashes of bitters. Comment below if you've been making these cocktails along with me at home. Anyone? Anyone making these? No? Let's get a stir. And we are getting the greatest cherries on the planet to put in this drink. All right, Malort Mixology, old fashioned. It does have a nice color to it. Well, the Angostura bitters have a nice presence that comes in, kind of mellows out the Malort a little bit. Definitely this simple syrup adds an element of sweetness. Now Malort does have a little bit of sweetness to it, so adding a little bit more helps things a little bit. Still, it's an aggressive flavor. I mean, going through the whole process of making the cocktail, stirring it up, even the look convinced me that I was gonna have an actual cocktail. Ugh. But no, it's, it's just more. I think this really takes the cake. And by cake, I mean something made with the innards of a roadkill skunk, with just a little bit of frosting on top. So you think it's cake, you're excited to have cake, and you eat the cake and you realize, oh, that is a dead skunk. Oh, that's the carcass of a dead skunk with its intact scent pouch that just burst with flavor into your mouth. Not a fresh one, but a strong one. One more time for posterity. Ooh, it's, it's just, it just, it fools you because you have the sweetness and the orange and the bitters. Woo. All right, cherries. Here we go. Delightful. The curse of Malort did not infuse itself into the cherries. So, they give me hope. If you haven't spent $30 on a jar of these cherries, you're really missing out. Real deal, folks. 
That's why I got to make them last a year. Having two was a real treat. That's three weeks worth of cherries. So it tricks you like crazy. I know you at home thinking you're making a video called Malort Mixology. How do you not know? But it's my taste buds. Sometimes my brain gets lost in the illusion. The illusion of my past. The past that no longer exists. The life that I was once proud of. The past is history. The future, a mystery. Right now is a gift. That's why they call it the present. You gotta say though, Lewis, that is some harvested as f ice. Holding up great in this drink. I'm gonna put in another ice order from you pretty soon. I'm wanting to feel like Don Draper when I drank this, but it's, it's sabotaging me. I mean, he'd have to be mad to drink and enjoy this. He would be a mad man, among other mad men. Ah, John Hamm. Everybody tag him. What would the world look like if everyone was drinking old fashions with the Lord in it? Ooh. That would be a dystopian nightmare, but somehow everyone's a Cubs fan who looks down on all the White Sox fans. Still don't get it. Really playing up the fact that they love their old fashions with Malort. We're a good city too, New York. And if you are gonna search on Bing today, maybe you guys can do me a favor. If everyone from PV3 Nation Bing searched unemployed wine guy, why we could make me the most searched term on Bing for a day. That would be pretty cool. Honestly, I can't see how it would be that hard. Maybe if 200 of you searched, I'm sure that would put us at the top. I just searched and the top three trending searches on Bing today are Murder, She Wrote, Hemorrhoid Cream, and the Colorado Avalanche. Well, I hope everyone is okay. And I know that internet rumor going around that the number one search on Bing every day is always google.com, <laughs> but I just don't believe it. I mean, Bing is such a well-engineered search engine. Why would anyone wanna go to Google? The name and the word itself is stupid. Why would you want to Google anything? What, I want some esoteric, weird website I've never heard of before? No, I want maps, you know? I want access to things around me locally. That's why I use Bing at least three times a day. Capped off it three times a day, actually. I use it three times a day every day. They don't carry over, you know, they're not like carryover minutes. So sometimes I'll get to the end of the day, realize I've only used two Bing searches. Oh, you know what? This third one is just gonna be a treat for myself. I'm gonna bing anything. Power windows, how does that even work, you know? And obviously you gotta make sure that your spelling is very correct, because bing.com does not have a did you mean function. Spelled it wrong, you, know, you just lost that search for the day, which can be very crippling. It can leave you stranded in a neighborhood you're unfamiliar with, and that's scary. It's called Yahoo, and nobody wants to go there. But luckily no one has had to since 2004. Join me on the next episode of Malort Mixology where I will be suffering, as usual, with some f***ed up cocktail.